Welcome to Easy Styling in Canvas, Part A, where we look at how to style images using the Canvas HTML editor. This knowledge prepares you for Parts B and C in the series where you learn to style with color. In the Easy HTML in Canvas series, we looked at how to create columns and tabbed pages by using the diff tag to declare, class equals columns, or enhanceable tabbed content in the opening tags. These declarations are not actually HTML, but rather CSS descriptions added to the HTML tag. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. While HTML tags declare what elements are included on a page, style sheets describe how they should appear on screen. Modern web pages often use multiple style sheets to make various styles or actions available as needed. When you create a new page in Canvas, it displays content using default style sheet settings. When you want styling beyond this, you can add your own CSS description to an HTML tag to override the default. This is called inline styling. For example, For example, in Canvas, when you add an image to your page and use the text editor to write justify it on the screen, a style description is added automatically. Let's look at this in the Canvas HTML editor. Here in the image tag, we see style equals float right added by Canvas. This overrides the default setting to float the image on the right side of the page, and that's what we want. But let's look at this image after saving. This isn't good. The text is too close to the image, making it less readable for the learner. We want to increase the space between the text and image to keep them visually distinct by adding padding around the image. In CSS, padding refers to the space around a page element. So, let's add that in the HTML editor. Padding is declared in a style description. Since Canvas already added a style equals declaration to float the image, we can simply expand the description to include padding. Here, between the semicolon and final quotation marks, I type padding, colon, and then declare how many pixels of space should be on each side of the image, top, right, bottom, left, and always in that order. I want 10 pixels of space at the top, 0 pixels on the right, 10 pixels on the bottom, and 20 pixels on the left. I end the declaration with a semicolon. Then select Save. This looks good. The text wraps nicely around the image, with equal spacing all around. Another common styling issue is the banner image. Default canvas settings do not typically resize images when resizing a browser window or for display on small screens. This creates a variety of problems, especially if the image is content related but it's easy to correct this by declaring the width and height of the image in the image tag. So, let's do that in the HTML editor. Here, in the opening image tag, immediately after the alt description, I type width equals 100%, followed by height equals auto. Note the quotation marks around what they equal. The quotation marks are key. Now. After saving, the banner image resizes on the fly and displays properly in a small screen format. The last styling issue we'll cover in this video relates to images in multi-column layouts. Let's look at an example. I've added tabbed pages with columns to the bottom of my page and I want an image in the first column that relates to the text in the second column. To do that, I'll insert an image using the rich content editor. Center it with the text tool and then save it. And there's a problem. The text overlaps the image at this screen size. If I widen the browser window, it's fine. But watch what happens as I shrink it. The columns shrink while the image doesn't, causing the overlapping text. This is also easy to fix by adding an automatic width and height description as we did with the banner image. So let's do that in the HTML editor. Here, just after the alt description in the image tag, I add width equals 100% and height equals auto with quotation marks around the descriptions. Now when I save and shrink the browser window, 
the picture resizes automatically, and the text keeps its distance, just what I want. And that's how easy it is to add style to your images in Canvas. So, let's review our key points. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheet. Style Sheet Style Page Elements. Inline styling overrides default CSS. Images need padding to be visually distinct for the viewer, and padding declarations always start at the top of an image, then move clockwise to the right, bottom, and left sides. Finally, styling an image width width equals 100% and height equals auto allows the image to resize automatically. Now that you're familiar with CSS and inline styling, you're ready for parts B and C of Easy Styling in Canvas, where we look at how to add color in Canvas using the HTML editor. We'll see you there.